perfectly happy with the way we came out. Uh, I thought, you know, we did exactly what we talked about. We want to be aggressive and attack. You know, we felt very comfortable in the environment, um, you know, and, and we've been here this year earlier. So um, I thought our players did a great job. We we had some C&I balls and some things get through. We had some key hits. Brittany came up with a big, big our big hit right there. So, um, yeah, we, we certainly gave ourselves a chance and, um, you know, we battled and everything. So uh, Arkansas is a great team and I knew it was going to go 21 out. So, uh, you know, we 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 battled there to the end. All right, we'll take questions for the student athletes. Ethan? Since just you told us yesterday, you said y'all weren't going to be intimidated coming in here. Y'all were going to give them your best shot. Just what do you think that this said about y'all today, that just the fight that you gave? Um, I feel like just don't sleep on us. Like we came out ready to attack. Uh, we just come full of energy and full of surprises. So, yeah, we just got to keep doing what we're doing and trust the process. Of you, I guess, Brittany, uh, you can answer it. Just how tough is it, you know, whenever you have such a good game and come out on, you know, on the other side? You know, it does suck. I mean, because we just put all our effort into that game and coming out on bottom is not what you want, but it just builds the fire and just makes us want to work harder, especially for our seniors. Um, me being a sophomore, I want to play for them, especially because I know this could be their last game. So I think that really built a fire under us and that loss is just going to make us go up. You talk about your at bat and kind of what you were seeing on that. Um, honestly, I was just looking for a pitch to hit. I figured that they were going to come in on me, and I just needed a pitch to hit. And luckily, it went up the middle and scored two runs. Probably the best feeling I could have had. Um, it's just nice to be able to just come in there and not be afraid and just step in the box and just take a deep breath and just do what you know how to do. Jackie. Yeah, uh, Brittany, what did uh? There's a second pitcher that Arkansas brought in, Robin. What do you think, you know, she did well to kind of keep you guys off balance there towards the, the final four or five innings or so? Um, I would say definitely that rise ball. I mean, we were kind of coming in just kind of seeing line stocks. So we were watching her and um, I think the rise ball just caught us off guard. But I think we're going to come in and even stronger because now we know um, we did face her before. And I don't think any of us were scared. I think we were just off just a little bit. And I think the next time we see her, we're going to hit off of her. So, I mean, I'm not really that worried about it. And, and patience, just, you know, what specifically was, was working for you tonight is sixth grade innings, just just one kind of came back to bite you guys. Um, Honestly, just mixing the high, low, um, keeping them guessing with the off speed, um, really just trusting my movement, not trying to do too much. Um, also trying not to let the umpire kind of get in my head. His zone was just kind of inconsistent. So uh, just trying to keep my composure and just trust Trust this process. Ladies, thank you. Great job. All right, questions for Coach Redburn. Ethan, go ahead. Yeah, Coach, just kind of what I let off with them, just what do you think it said about your team to come out and the fight that y'all showed? Yeah, you know, I just I'm proud of them that, um, you know, we've been talking about it and we knew it was going to be a big environment and it was. And uh, I thought that they handled it really well. You know, we didn't commit any errors. You know, we out hit them seven to six. Um, we hit a couple of other really good balls that they made some great defensive plays on, you know, and robbed us. Um, you know, so I just yeah, I thought we came out and we we did exactly what we wanted to do. And uh, we played on the big stage, you know, and uh, they battled and competed and. You know, just unfortunately, this time right here, we just we just fell a little short. Will you talk about maybe what adjustments you saw Arkansas make um, specifically with that fifth inning that they got the lead? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of getting one of those points where you start to wonder, you know, when does, you know, good teams, good hitting teams, good hitters make those adjustments and what can we do? And um, so I knew it was kind of getting to that point. And, you know, they hit the ball down the first base uh, line drive right there, you know, and then they hit another one kind of up the middle. Um, so I just kind of seen where the, it wasn't necessarily they were squaring us up and driving balls, uh, but they were just getting the barrel to the ball. And, uh, you know, it, there was that tough call of, you know, do I stay with pay on this or do we do we go ahead and make the change? And uh, so I thought that they adjusted really well. And, you know, again, as the game was progressing, that's what good hitters and good teams do. And, and uh, you know, so I give them credit for, for what they did there at the plate against us. 
were you surprised maybe that the that they pulled Morgan so so quickly into this game? I know I know bases were loaded, big threat, but still it was it was an early pull and go to the bullpen there. Yeah, but I, I felt like uh it was probably the right move for them the way we thought we could get to her. And I think it showed a little bit. We were getting, you know, some contact and and uh getting the barrel to the ball as well. Um, you know, but I think with as many left-handed hitters that we have in the lineup. And then they go with left, you know, so it's left on left. And so, um, you know, I'm not quite sure how that's going to go. So I considered at one point in time, do I need to go now with some of our right-handed hitters and see how that changes things? Uh, but we decided to stay with it, you know, the way we did. Um, you know, but uh, again, I just give them credit. They made the adjustment when they needed to. And she held in there and hung on and kept them in it and gave their team a chance. And sure enough, you know, they were able to to, to scratch out three runs there. It, it turned out to be kind of a, a big play that that second out at third after uh, Brittany single up the middle. Mm-hmm. Just were you happy with the aggression there, the base running? I mean, what were you? What would you see there? Well, um, especially with the top of the order coming up, I would have preferred she stop at second. You know, because uh, we're still in scoring position. We got the top of the order up. You know, we've kind of got them on their heels a little bit. I we always talk to our players about smart aggressiveness versus dumb aggressiveness, and I I applaud Tay. She was being smart aggressive right there. She was pushing it. We're plus two at that point. Why not get 60 feet away? So I, I understand it, um, you know, but in hindsight, I'm just sure if I could have stopped her at second base and not got the out, we'd love to have that. But, you know, uh, she's a good runner, aggressive runner on the bases and, you know, we're plus two and she was pushing it. They had to throw it, catch it and tag her. And they did. So, you know, that, that just happens. Talking about hindsight, just being 2020, but um, I had that decision to walk Gamble and load the bases. I know she had made good contact several times. Was that kind of, you were thinking there oh absolutely yeah uh you know um you know because she's such a phenomenal hitter and aggressive hitter and and i i know that we're putting you know another run and scoring position over there at second base like that and everything um certainly we're not thinking about we're going to walk the next hitter uh but we give ourselves a chance at three bases right to get an out um you know we don't have to necessarily pitch to her and and uh so we took a chance right there and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh but I think they only ended up getting that one run after that and then we got a, a pop out I think on the next one so so we took a chance but uh, that's kind of the theory is that yeah you load them up but now you got a chance to get get an out at three different spots instead of just you know two in that play in that case so anyway and the mentality going into tomorrow just facing Villanova one game, you know, that's what we've kind of been saying for the last, you know, two weekends and everything. We're just, we're just playing one game and uh, that's our approach. We talked about it already out there in right field and that's, that's how it is. We got one game tomorrow and we got to bring our best. Uh, we got to regroup. Uh, I told him too, Hey, great, great news here. We get to play again tomorrow. It's not over, you know? So uh, take what we did here tonight and, and build on that confidence and uh, take it into uh, to the game tomorrow. All right. We'll go to zoom for the final question, Justin. Yeah, Coach, I think they actually quoted you on the broadcast and said you thought maybe you even overscheduled in your non-conference, played a lot of tough teams. Um, You took your lumps, but how important is playing those games in the non-conference, in those environments, how important is that to to your team being able to come out first game of a regional, nighttime under the lights, SEC, and be able to play like they did? Yeah, I mean, uh, I thought we would have done better than what we had did uh, during that time frame. Uh, you know, looking at it right now, I think we've got the 16th ranked uh, non-conference strength of schedule. So I think it absolutely pre- prepared them. Uh, you know, we played against a lot of really good teams. And as we were kind of talking to our players, you know what? Um, I don't mean to sound arrogant or cocky, but they're all at home and we're still here playing. And uh, so I think, you know, it absolutely prepared them. Um, you know, coming here to Arkansas earlier in the year, uh, going extra innings with them, you know, being familiar with this ballpark. Uh, you know, that's what we tried to do, uh, going to Missouri. Uh, so, you know, we, we just, as I've always said, we'll play anyone, anywhere, anytime. And, uh, if you want to be a big dog, you got to think of yourself and play big dogs. Coach, appreciate your time. Thank you.